How's it going? If you're trying to change the tempo of a beat track or stems in Pro Tools, multi-tracks, it's all the same. Real players playing real instruments, we can warp the tempo to make it whatever we want. Keep something in mind. If you're making it slower, 10 BPM is like the limit before it starts getting a little wonky. Whereas if you're going faster, you could really do as much as you want. And the reason being, the computer's pushing the sound together when you're making it faster. So there's doesn't need to come up with what's in the middle. Whereas think about it, when it has to spread it out to slow it down, what's it doing? It doesn't know what to do with the stuff in the middle. So there's really no way to make that sound good, no matter what, unfortunately. But let me show you what I'm talking about, ready? Super easy to do. You come over here, this track we wanna mess with, all right? If you wanna mess with all four of these, what you would do is click the top one, shift click the bottom one, and it will select all of them. So if you just wanna mess with one, all you're doing is clicking the one you wanna mess with. If you wanna mess with all of them, shift click, then come over here, you see this little blue guy, the little blue clock? Shift option click that blue clock guy, and it's gonna bring up a thing that says samples and ticks. You want ticks. Then the thing next to it, this little metronome looking guy, that's the elastic audio button. Shift option click that, it's gonna go Switch it to rhythmic. That's what we need, rhythmic. Rhythmic will make a change with the tempo like this. Ready? So if we want, it's at 170 right now, okay? Now to, click to change tempo, you guys know, you just double click this little red thing here and then it will change it. All right, so now look. What we wanna do is listen to what it sounds like now. Oh, that's the beat. Now, here we go. I can move it to 160 because that's 10 BPM slower. It's not going to be a problem. Check it out. Not a problem at all. Now, if you think it needs a little bit more decay, you just click this rhythmic button and you would move the decay. The thing is, this doesn't move with all of them, so you have to do it one at a time. It's not going to move all the tracks when you turn one of these up. Just like on a plug-in, you can't get... You can't like move the EQ on one plugin and have it do it on all the others. So it's just like similar to that. Think of it that way. So if you move the decay to the right, it's going to elongate the decay and make it cover up for the space that it's created as much as it can. Okay. And if you move it to the left, it's going to be a, like a gap in between. Accentuate that gap like a tremolo would or a gate would. Basically, that's how it's going to sound. Okay. So now if we go to. Let's make it faster. We'll go to 180. That'll sound fine because it doesn't matter how fast you go, it's pushing it together. No problem. Just to show you what I'm talking about, we're going to go to 220. All right, that's it was at 170 where it started. So this is significantly faster. still sounds fine. See what I'm saying? So have fun with this. You guys got this, all right? If you liked the video, if it helped you, please hit that like and subscribe button. Tons more stuff to come. My name's Evan Jaffe, Custom Cut Studios. You guys got this.